Good morning, we're on our way to Clovis, New Mexico, where Norvichek Studio is, and the Norman of Vipetti Rock and Roll Museum. Should be really good. Um, enjoy the intro. We just ended up this in this town called Littlefield. We just randomly ended up here. Uh, this is great for pictures. All kinds of old buildings. There's an old record shop behind me, just so we've been taking pictures of everything. And it's the hometown of Waylon Jennings. Is it? Is it? Yeah. This is the hometown of Waylon Jennings, apparently. <laughs> nice. It's the town in Texas on the, the 84 West. We just randomly drove through it on our way to Clovis, New Mexico. It's the hometown of Waylon Jennings. Waylon Jennings played for Buddy Holly on the very last tour and was a good personal friend of his. We made it to Clovis, New Mexico. Um, there is the Norman and Vipetti Rock and Roll Museum. We're here. We're finally here. And one thing that came to my mind is the guitar on the entrance there is left-handed. Look at that. It's that that nice gentleman said it's only close to one o'clock. So um, after one o'clock, we're gonna go in. It's closed because of a ribbon cutting. Um, apparently they're opening a turbine over here. That man said there's quite a big deal here in Clovis. And that's why everything's closed. Um, yeah, let's go and have a look, shall we? Apparently they're letting everybody sign it, so yeah, why not? Yeah, this turbine is going to be part of a much bigger wind farm uh, supporting Clovis. It's really being put together by the people, so it's wonderful. This keeps on getting better. Um, outside the museum, we met, um, we met a man named John who runs Bender's Cars. He told us about a, lady, a very nice lady, Ernie Koss. She phoned up uh, somebody that's gonna show us around the Norfolk Jack studio, which is where Buddy Holly and the crickets record us all those hits. We're gonna meet a man that did the backup singing for him. This day keeps on getting better. <laughs> I cannot believe that, can you? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. We're walking on cloud nine at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Oh. This is awesome. This is awesome. Jerry Allison, mm -hmm. the drummer on Peggy Sue was in this room right here. Okay. Because his drums were so, so stout and strong. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, do you know anything about uh, Norman Petty? Um. Yeah. Well, we know he did the trio. Yeah. Petty trio. yeah. The studio was built primarily for the trio. Mm -hmm. He had no intentions of going public with it. Yeah. 
but a guy named Buddy Knox came over, you know who that is, mm -hmm. that party yeah. doll. Yeah. And uh, recorded it here, and of mm -hmm. course it went to number one. Yeah. And then Buddy Holly came along. At that time, Buddy was with Decca out mm -hmm. in Nashville. And uh, he took it over there, over to Nashville, and uh, they listened to it, and they told him to take his rockabilly back to Lubbock. They didn't want it. So, there's Roy Orbison recorded there as well, huh? Uh, well, Buddy Knox, of course, mm -hmm. Buddy Holly, Roy Orbison. Mm -hmm. His recording of Ooby Dooby. Mm -hmm. With the Tinkings. Yeah. And he took it to Sam. Sam, at one point, was not interested in Roy. Mm -hmm. Uh, in December of 56, I went with Roy to Memphis to Sun Records and recorded there. And uh, Sam wasn't interested in him because he had Presley at that time, he had Carl Perkins, he had Jerry Lee Lewis, he had Johnny Cash. Mm -hmm. But when he came up here and redid Ooby Dooby, mm -hmm. and he took the master down to Sam, and played it for him, and Sam thought, well, maybe there is something to this guy. Mm -hmm. So they finally got it released on sign. But anyway, mm -hmm. I came with Roy here in 1957, and uh, Norman evidently liked us, or he felt sorry, compassionate for us, and uh, wanted to know if we'd move up and become his staff vocalist. We were a trio. Mm -hmm. So we did, and that's why I got to record with all those guys. So you were part of the Teen Kings? Big pardon? You were part of the Teen Kings? Yeah. No, no, no. No, we we were known as the Roses. The Roses, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the Teen Kings was his band. Yeah. Can it be? Because I know my dad has a record, and it says Roy Orbison, and the Roses on there as well. Well, it may do. It, mm -hmm. it may do that. Uh, do you know what the songs are? Was it uh, ashamed to say? Sweet and easy to love. Yeah, that must okay. be the one. That must be the one. Yeah, that one or Devil Doll. Mm -hmm. Those are the two that we did in Memphis with. Them. Devil Doll as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of my absolute favorites. Is it really? Yeah, it really is. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, we'll go into the control room and uh, give you a sample of what we listened to. When we... But Norman, we didn't use sheet music or anything. It was strictly what I call ad lib. Mm -hmm. We would listen, mm -hmm. we would work, work something out and do it, and if everybody liked it, then that's what we did. If they didn't, then we'd change it up. But while we were learning the songs, Norman was sitting here with these big old earphones on. And each oh. one of these knobs, yeah. or those knobs, there was a microphone hooked up to it. And he was adjusting the volume level. Yeah. And then when he got his level right, he would start actually taping. Yep. So it was a it was a pretty good system. Mm. However, that meant that we never really got started doing a session mm -hmm. until about midnight. But Norman and Vi were night people, yep. so we became night people. Uh, moles, if you want to call us that, you know. <laughs> yeah. Or vampires or whatever. Okay. A recording to New York, instead yep. of taking the master tape, mm -hmm. you'd cut it yep. and take that. That way his master tape was still here. Mm -hmm. But you'll notice this has two spindle holes. Yep. One is a driver and yep. one is just a yep. spindle. And it uses a, a diamond stylus needle mm -hmm. to cut. <laughs> These are the ones that Buddy used. Yeah. The original. Yeah.
Um, this is Clovis, New Mexico. We made it to Clovis. It's the. Hey, Sheriff. Oh, come on. Bloody focus. Am I focused now? Hij stelt zich niet scherp op mijn gezicht. 